Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you? I'm talking about the solar eclipse, right? Millions of Americans stopped this afternoon to watch as the moon blocked the sun and only a narrow corridor from Oregon to South Carolina were able to see what they're calling the full totality. But all of North America was able to see at least a partial eclipse. Jay Richards, author of The Privileged Planet and host of EWTN's A Force for Good, explains, ready, how the eclipse is a symbol of God incarnate. I've been interested in solar eclipses since I was a little kid. In fact, my mom sprung me from school in the sixth grade, took me to the local planetarium so that I could see a partial eclipse from my hometown in Texas. Think when you're watching an eclipse about how God came to Earth. Uh, we, we know from Scripture, from Revelation 12, that Mary and the moon are connected in a mysterious way. We have this revelation of John in which uh, a vision of a woman is seen, clothed in the sun with a crown of stars and the moon at her feet. We've known that for 2,000 years in Christian iconography, Mary has been connected with the moon. Think of what happened in the incarnation. The Son of God, God himself, the Creator, was for a moment temporarily hidden inside the body of a woman, inside Mary. In the same way, during a total eclipse, a moon, the moon, much smaller, of course, than the sun, doesn't have any of its own light, but reflects perfectly the light of the sun, hides for a moment the bright sun. So I think you can see a total eclipse as an astronomical symbol of that first chapter of the Incarnation. One thing I didn't know about Jay is that he is a big Eclipse fan. And he wasn't even here. He was traveling. So was Paul Fifield, our Director of Operations. We're looking forward to hearing about all of their tales when they get back. That does it for all of us here at EWTN News Nightly. To all of you around the world, I'm Lauren Ashburn. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from a Catholic perspective. And we are going to leave you tonight with more. Hey, look, it's Rodney, it's Leon, it's Stefano, it's Susan. Who's in the back there? Addie, it's Elena. And then here's, oh, is Matt. There's Catherine, all of our friends at EWTN. And this little picture right here was taken from one of their iPhones. We had such a great time. That is in our staff. That happens to be the president of the United States, his wife and his son just down the street looking at the eclipse as well. We had a good time with it. Hope you did too. And we'll see you tomorrow.